Welcome to Six Sigma Mania. IT Mania company is facing growth of their business, which is customer support. Company monitor and provides different software upgrades and control hardware functions. But most importantly, it is resolving and addressing different issues, the help desk. There are several new customers joined IT Mania in last four months. This is great for the company future, but team have realized that there are some challenges coming with this growth. Jani is working for the company over 16 years. She has lots of experiences from different positions she went through. Now, as a leader of help desk team, she has realized that response time for resolving problems has increased. There are some customers' feedbacks showing decreasing satisfaction. She needed to know what is today's reality and what they can do to improve it. Jani has identified team of five people that will help with improvement effort. They will use Demaic method Jani studied recently. First step was to understand what is current state reality. Time from request beginning to its successful termination is 8.5 working days in average. Maximum time for resolving problem is 22 days. These data are acquired from last four months of operations with new customers. Resolution time for six months prior new customers was three days with maximum resolution 10 days. Room for improvement is obvious. Jani's team goal is to get at least to numbers prior the growth. IT Mania headquarters expectations are to improve, but with less new hires as possible. Reason is simple, the office constraints. There are just a few free tables available. There are about 300 different requests for 10 different softwares required to be addressed every day. About 50 new tickets are raised during weekends. This is a backlog that starts to be processed on Monday. Backlog of new tasks is creating wave of not resolved customers issues, influencing average resolution time. Existing process review by using process map, explored team members different approaches for resolving problems. Some customers use direct calls to particular help desk person. Official way to contact support team is by using online ticket request. Information about addressed issues are lost by bypassing official way. Help desk person is utilizing its time on not monitored activities. However, customers are happier because response to their problem is immediate. Problem with online ticket is that there are not enough information describing the problem. This is causing that incorrect solution team starts to work on the problem. After more detailed clarification, hands off to another resolution team is needed to be done. This creates another huge delays in solving issues. This process behaviors were used for last few years. It was manageable, but overtimes were required sometimes. With supporting other new customers overtimes and chaos raised tremendously. Team have described how new, the ideal process should look like. It is important that as much as help desk requests goes official way. Direct calls were banned, and this new regulation communicated to all customers. However, new process setup allowed to choose urgency level. There are three urgency levels aligned with reaction time. Normal urgency expected reaction is within 24 hours, middle urgency within 12 hours. Highest urgency expected reaction within one hour. Different urgency levels are priced differently and invoiced by end of the month. If customer calls support directly, it is considered as highest urgency reaction. Help desk person creates ticket instead of the customer. In this case, online ticket form was reviewed. Important fields were discussed and identified by different support teams. Delays caused by improper problem description was reduced from initial 20% to 1% by proper problem description and sufficient information in the ticket. This simple action have improved reaction time by three days. Future state process map was supported by guidance notes. All team members were trained to follow instructions. Cross trainings between teams program was launched too. It was important to have broader knowledge about different programs and its issues. Unified way of addressing issues and cross training brought powerful improvement to whole process of customer care. It was less and less necessary to redirect customer to other resolution teams. It was obvious in resolution time results. Eight days maximum and average resolution within two days made customers very satisfied. This great results were reached in first quarter after project accomplishment. Training program for new hires was also developed. It is crucial to make all new people work official way for sustaining of the new process. Manpower capacities calculation was done too. It was done based on real data. 
all discrepancies, people average on efficiencies were incorporated in this calculation too. This is a great tool for future manpower capacities prediction. One new hire for each shift was required after capacities revision. Help desk tickets created during the weekend were addressed by a special program. Two people of the team members required to be present at work during weekends. Each person from the team, including managers spend one weekend in one year quarter by solving customer issues. Overtimes were fully paid, or employees could pick two days off during following week. No other overtimes were needed. This reduced backlog of opened issues to 10%, which was easily manageable. Do not hesitate to message me, or ask for consultancy on the link below. I will be happy to help you in lean culture implementation in your organization. Six Sigma projects consultations, lean Six Sigma trainings and certifications support, to project management theory turn into practical usage. And your career planning. First 30 minutes of consultation is for free. Take a look under the video, where you find a link to my blog, to download different Lean Six Sigma templates for free. If you find this video helpful, give us a like. And do not forget to subscribe. Thank you.